Hey, what's up? So today I'm doing a get ready with me and I just thought it'd be nice because I know a lot of you um, like my makeup sometimes and it's freaking cool because because I like to do it. Kicking it old school and doing a chicha get ready with me. You can sit down, get ready with me, or just play me in the background if you like. And just talk about new stuff. And I'll list everything that I use down below if you're interested. A lot of my makeup is old. I don't really buy new makeup. I've bought so many in the past. So I have a lot of makeup that I still need to use. So sorry if a lot of this stuff is not 100% like cruelty free and vegan. But the stuff that I do buy more recent, I try to think about that. And also that it's a busy day today around my neighborhood so if you do hear tr the trash can it's because that it's trash day asked y'all for some questions to just make this a little bit more spicy so let's get into those as well right now I'm using my bio oil on my face it's just something that I have been doing recently I've been using it as more like a I guess moisturizer in a sense because I prefer oils or serums on my face but also this just helps with some rosacea how have you been mental health wise with everything going on in the world how has everyone been i feel like it's been such a roller coaster of emotions and i've been trying to figure that out myself but um lately i've had the opportunity to have access to mental health recently and i have been taking advantage of that opportunity so i have been um speaking to a therapist almost these past two months and it's definitely helped me just reflect on myself and i feel like because of her lately i've been way better i feel like i've been happier i feel like i've been more myself i don't know if you've seen that in also my videos but like every day there's always something new happening and it's always something i'm trying to figure out and i'm a very emotional person and also i think it's because of my birth control like the past two years i've been extra hormonal i'm thankful for the opportunity that was given to me for me to actually experience that because i've never had a therapist before or had like any counseling before so it's it's nice to have that access what are some of your favorite movies like i love when y'all ask me about movies because one of my favorite hobbies it's my passion honestly but then i'm like what is my favorite movie like i can't think of any that is potentially my favorite movie i guess for me the ones that were very eye-opening this movie called um the man with the movie camera and i love watching that i love this movie called bicycle thieves because of I don't know, I, the neo-realism Italian film style throughout that time. Those are two that are on the top of my mind I could think that are my favorite movies. What's your second channel? I didn't know you had one. <laughs> this is my second channel. I really just wanted to focus on doing vlogs, but other kind of content like makeup, stuff like that that I used to love doing but I feel like wouldn't fit perfect on my main channel. So it's definitely like more of a lifestyle channel. Just whatever y'all sometimes ask me, I'm trying to see if I can do it on this channel if I feel like it can't fit on my main channel. So what is your current favorite song? Oh my god, this one is good because I have just refound a song. I have been listening, listening? I can't even talk. I have been listening to that song like nonstop called the song I Like It by <clears throat> the barge i cannot pronounce you know, y'all know with me a pronunciation but every time i play it and like every time he sings his falsetto notes i'm like what seems so satisfying to me i must confess it comes. and i like it such a good song like i love r and I love disco and just groovy music in general so I'm always trying to find that but I'm a big like r and girl to the core especially the 80s, 90s r and music or early 2000s too. I don't really listen to the r and now but just like old school r and is like my favorite. That has been a song that I recently found and I was like oh my god I remember playing it with my dad and like us singing it together and, and I just remember it was such a good groovy song and that 
freaking high notes man it was so it's so freaking good all right so I'm gonna do my eyeshadow now and I know a lot of you love when I match my eyeshadow to my clothing so that is what I'm gonna be doing today I'm gonna be using a combination of this elf palette it is the elf J kissa because it is beautiful it is colorful so I'm gonna be using that and I'm also going to be using this, this little Z palette I made years ago this has like coastal scents eyeshadows so I'm gonna be using the orange and the pink here kind of like a fluffy blending brush this one right here this is by uh, Morphe I'm telling you I've had all this stuff for a while now so I'm gonna mix the top colors here Millie and Palomona right here to get like a transitional orange color I'm gonna focus that just on the top oh my god let me zoom you in for this happiest 2020 memory well you know how 2020 has been doing us but for me my favorite memory from 2020 has been um, having my niece she was born in April and um, it's just been so amazing to just have a new life in our lives and she's just so cute and it's just amazing to see her grow and that's probably my happiest memory of 2020 it's just getting to be an aunt and um, building my relationship with my niece how long have you and your boyfriend been dating oh this is a funny question um, we have been dating it's gonna be eight years in September 3rd so our anniversary is coming up yeah we've been together for eight years we got together in 2012 so yeah, it's been, it's been a cool minute. I was 19 years old. Karina, do you have a goal in life that you haven't reached? Oh yeah, I feel like I have so many goals in my life that I haven't reached. And who knows if that will ever happen, but I hope it will. Right now, one of my goals that I haven't reached is I want to become a more documentarian. So I definitely want to hopefully one day have the chance to create a documentary trying to figure out what my ideal topic would be we'll do all the research for that because it's a lot of like pre-work you have to do before obviously getting pre-production that's kind of what i'm thinking about lately and trying to figure out what is my niche and i feel like right now it's a good time to get into documentary filmmaking I feel for some reason i feel like the niche has gotten better and i think more people are more interested in it yeah that's basically a goal of mine that hopefully in the future I get a chance to do that because that's basically what I wanted to do with myself how is life going well life is good right now I have to like really thank all of you who has made it good for me like it's so amazing to like um, just have y'all like as a community and really y'all bring me up so much because there's so many times where I feel like shit y'all make my life better thank you so much for being so kind and i'm very grateful for all of that like i'm very grateful for all of you who have been just so kind and sweet with your words and you don't understand how much that has affected me emotionally thank you so much so my life has been good because of y'all i was trying to do like a gradient eye but i don't know if it's gonna work so i'm putting the pink like below the the orange um, hopefully it creates like a sunset eye. What is your favorite snack? Ooh, my favorite snack. Besides Luis, my favorite snack has to be corn. I can't tell you my obsession with corn. And I'm talking about corn with the mayo and the Parmesan cheese. And I put Valentina on it. So I do that, but I make it vegan. Where I live, I grew up with El Etero Man and an ice cream man. But for me, I am obsessed with my El Etero. Mi el etero man, mi el etero muchacho. Damn, I don't know what to say. But my corn man though, he on fleek. He even has all the chips you need. Sometimes I buy the corn from him, and then I have the ingredients at home, so I just put it together. But sometimes he look at me weird because he's like, "You just want the corn by itself?" I'm like, "Yeah, I do." You don't know what I'm gonna do with it at home, but yes. So that is my favorite snack, honestly, or chips. Like, you can never go wrong with chips and corn. Now I'm going with this green color here, and I'm going to put that all over my lid. So I'm using this one from Coastal Scents. It is their Sage Sensation. What inspired you slash motivated you to get into fashion? I grew up a very shy girl. I'm, I am still a shy girl and kind of introverted. I guess because I didn't really talk to many people and stuff, I wanted to 
represent myself with clothes and I found clothes to be like a creative expression for me I've been doing that since like high school in middle school I was very self-conscious I guess when I got to high school I was like no nah, fuck that if you want to wear that don't don't be a don't be a little bitch about it I wanted to express myself with clothing but I felt like I couldn't because of like the bullying that I was getting as a child in middle school and I thought that was stupid at one point. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try. Here and there, little by little, I kind of just started expressing myself with clothing and eventually I got a little bit more comfortable with it. And after high school, I became like full on, like, you know, I'm just gonna, I really like fashion and I really want to get, learn more about it. And ever since then, I feel like after college, I delve into more, and that's kind of where I made the transition to making my YouTube channel into a fashion channel because before it was a college channel, it was about me getting to CLA, advice about like getting to a university or like how to transfer or like vlogging. I vlogged my whole senior year. I vlogged it like every single week I had videos of me experiencing you know college and stuff so, yeah it's definitely changed those videos I have taken them down I do have them still so if any of you like are interested in them let me know I could definitely just send them to you help with any college advice feel free to DM me and I will gladly help you what is your favorite characteristic about yourself I think for me it has to be I'm a risk taker like I'm very passionate so my passion sometimes I don't think about like the consequences or what could happen so I just like take the risk grateful for that that I don't overanalyze it and I just go for it if I really want something I'm just gonna go for it full force but sometimes that backfires I become a perfectionist and then I become like very competitive and I feel like I have to be the best at what I do and in actuality you don't so yeah and that brings me down sometimes when I find out that I'm not the best at what I do I just sometimes give up on things and that happened with me with piano when I finally took a piano class because I taught myself I got into intermediate everyone there in my class was sight reading and I was in sight reading and I just gave up because I felt like I can never get in that level and that sucks because I really love playing the piano. That's like my favorite hobby. That's basically why I started my YouTube was because I was posting my piano videos on here. It's horrible. Like you shouldn't let that like take you away from what you wanted to do. That's how I'm trying to live now. It's like if you really want something, just do it. And don't think about it. Work for it. And don't think about the competition. But it's hard for me sometimes to think of it like that. Or don't see people as competition, which... Uh, it's so hard sometimes. Like, tips on pictures and how to look bomb. <laughs> well, that is so nice of you. It's hard for me, yo. Like, me and Luigi are posing all the time. He tries to somehow direct me. A lot of time I do get frustrated because I feel like I can never pose. Like, I am not a model. And I'm like, damn, but this is the look I want to achieve. I said, like, what I want the photo to look like. And when we take it and it's not happening, I get really angry and frustrated and it's 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 hard but a lot of it is just posing so many different ways and just like playing with it having like 500 photos and then selecting a couple yeah it's it's literally that where do you get your fashion inspo? a lot of it is people seeing people express themselves has really inspired me to try new things obviously like the most easy one too to keep more like on trends has been Pinterest for sure. Pinterest, I feel like, definitely uh, keeps me alert to what are the new things that have been becoming trendy or all of y'all inspire me too because sometimes I'll be looking at your stories here and there and just looking how y'all are doing and just looking how you dress and like, damn, like, I, I want to do that too. So it's just people expressing themselves creatively with clothes. Which painting slash artwork would you say describes your personality? Pollock, because I'm like everywhere. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I wish I knew more about artwork. Um, and I feel like I just know like the very popular artists. I do like Monet's paintings for sure. I love just how vibrant and colorful. For me, they kind of semi look blurry. They're not always like very pop arty, like, like re really realistic. They're in a sense kind of soft. And I, I really like that. I really I feel like that describes me where I'm kind of like very soft inside but colorful <laughs> if 
that makes sense. I don't know. What's your coffee order? That's funny that you just said that because Luigi went and go get me a coffee right now. And I like to support local coffee shops, so I don't, I rarely go to Starbucks. He's getting me a hazelnut frappe, so it's it's a fat a frappe. So basically, they just make the coffee like blended with ice. Oh, it's perfect for this weather. But I'm getting that a hazelnut frappe with boba and one pump of sugar. I don't like my coffee sweet, um, but I don't like it bitter. With oat milk, everything with oat milk. What's your favorite album right now? I feel like I'm not so good at keeping up with albums, y'all. Like, I'm not so good at keeping up with the music right now. I feel like I get stuck in my old, like, music. Like, I'm still back in, like, Karina in middle school. But let me check my Spotify real quick. Um, because I feel like I've been finding a lot of indie artists, like, on SoundCloud. Because I stick to just the people I really love. Like, The Strokes, Coldplay is, like, my favorite band. <laughs> like ever I guess lately I was listening to the Selena album I love that last song she did live it was the live the last concert song she sings all the like disco medley songs so yeah I guess it's this one the Selena live concert the last concert she did at the <clears throat> Osterdome the disco medley oh my god it's a seven minute song let me see if I can play some for you The Funky Town, won't you take me to Funky Town? Your last chance for romance. So let's dance, the last dance. And then she does on the radio. I felt like I was at her concert. But let me do this real quick, and I'm gonna do it off camera because my battery is dying. But I'm gonna go basically do the under eye of my eye and I'm gonna go pink, orange, and then green in the inner corners. So I came back and I finished the eyeshadow on the bottom of my eyes, but I also did my eyebrows because my eyebrows take a while, so I figured might as well do them. Do you plan on having babies soon or in the future? Not like planning to have children anytime soon. It's not that I'm like against it if it happens. If it happens, well, hey, you know. But I'm not planning to have children anytime soon. I'm not sure right now. I guess I can give you a definite like, yes, we're planning to have children because we're not. But it's not like we wouldn't want one in the future. What do you think is the first step in accepting your body? Like I'm still in the process of a journey with body acceptance. What made me like click on myself, like reflecting like my emotional scars about why I was insecure about my own body in general. And then kind of dissecting like if those insecurities were because that I kind of personally myself made those insecurities or those were insecurities that were pushed onto me such as like media, you know, my peers or was it the people I was surrounding myself with? Was it my family? Your cultural behaviors that you're socialized into? Me, it was starting to question like, why do I feel insecure about like, like for example, showing my arms or something? Why is that an insecurity of my Did I personally just start hating not showing my arms or is it because I saw other women talk about it and say like, oh, I hate my arms, they're just so big, I don't wanna show, like, oh, well, are mine big too? You know what I mean? Like. You, I had to really reflect on the things that I felt insecure about and try to dive into and think about how how did I become insecure about those things. I feel like once you realize that a lot of your insecurities are not your own, they're based on just socializations, ideals, norms, then you come to realize that like that you probably shouldn't feel insecure about those things. And that was like my first step. How have you been taking care of your mental health? Like I said to you previously, I had an opportunity come to me and obviously it's all because of y'all that allow me to be able to you know, do what I do here on YouTube and support me. So there was a point BetterHelp was wanting to work with me and we were going through this so they gave me a chance to try out their free trial for three months with a therapist. So that's what I've been doing. Unfortunately, like business-wise, after doing some research and finding out some things and I asked them specific questions, you have to remember that if when you're representing a brand, 
you're going also based on like your representation and for me there were some things I didn't agree with the brand so or you know with the company um, so it didn't end up working out but yeah they still luckily gave me the free three months so that's kind of like what I've been doing and um, like I'm really grateful for that like I really appreciate y'all that you've been able to give me that opportunity I have been talking to a therapist for the past three months and it's been amazing and I'm kind of sad that I might not um, talk to her anymore but honestly financially it's not really affordable for everyone and it's not gonna be affordable I know even for me it's not even affordable so just trying to take advantage of that because I've never had a therapist before and wow what a difference like I really wish our healthcare system really prioritized mental health more um, because I feel like a lot of people really would benefit from such a service I'm gonna put some mascara below my eyelashes as well best way to thrift for mid-size and plus size bodies as we all know like donations all vary based on like your city where your locations are for me finding plus size clothing i wasn't gonna find it like thrifting like in beverly hills or thrifting in like venice beach you have to think about locations a lot of the times i thrift like outside of la in the suburban areas and i also think about like you know you're gonna have to go to multiple stores like that's just the thing because you're never gonna have good luck with just one store you're gonna probably have to thrift multiple times and you're gonna have to go to different locations and that is fine and sometimes you won't find anything but that is okay and you feel like if you just keep trying and keep going eventually you will get that look and I know it's not easy and it's not accessible for everyone favorite small things I feel like that's like a like an Amelie question I'm gonna do this real quick while I think about it so I'm gonna bronze my skin a little bit so I'm thinking about what are my favorite things hmm. like when you're forced to think about those things that it just it just doesn't want to come out what is it like me tapping the creme brulee or what Mm. A small thing could be like, oh, when like, like learning like whole piano verse section in like under an hour or really getting it down quickly and not really have to struggle while playing it like that. That's freaking, I feel amazing when that happens. Or even sometimes with videos, in my mind I thought like, oh, this footage is going to look like shit, but then you put it into your you know your laptop and then you start editing and you somehow make it work and it's like a really good edit yeah those those are like that's amazing to me or when you stumble across like a movie that it was just random and then you find out like it's really fucking good like wow why haven't i seen this type of movie before and then you start searching for like the director or maybe the actors and one of the things other projects they do so i guess those little things are things that kind of are my favorite i think those were all for the questions so thank you so much if i didn't reply to you i'm so sorry i feel like this video has been long so now i'm gonna go on to my lips and i have been loving this lipstick in particular because it's like a burnt orangey color but i feel like it's gonna clash with what i'm wearing it's this lipstick called sienna so i think i'm gonna mix these two because this one is perfect because it's like a very pink lipstick and i know it would go with what i'm wearing and it definitely would match my eyeshadow but this is like a deep red orange brown and oh oh it's so pretty but i wouldn't go with the makeup look right now like, oh my god it's perfect fall color Yeah, it's not, I guess, as vibrant that pink, so. Mmm. Yes, that, that looks good. Lastly, I do a spray, but I don't have my spray right now. I have to do my hair anyways because I'm going to be filming a video. That is all for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed just sitting down and just having a chat. And you know what other videos you like to see on this channel, like I said. It's really like based on like what y'all like want to see on here. Thank you so much for just taking the time to watch this video and getting to know me. It really means the world. So that is all and I'll see you soon. Bye.